So we're here at South Mountain State Park. This is your visitor information with the with the map and all that stuff and the big lake and stuff that's back here. But uh it's supposed to be down near 90 degrees today, but um we're gonna take this hike up here and uh I'm normally out on my canoe or in my boat, but Figured I'd do some fishing from the bank today around this big man-made lake up here. So let's see what we can get done. I don't even know if I'm gonna walk the road. I might actually go through the grass because it looks like somebody's up here taking pictures. I'm trying to keep my head held up so my goatee don't get in front of the camera. I know y'all guys ain't trying to uh, look at my goatee the whole time. But this uh, man-made lake is stock plum full of bass and crappie and bluegill and catfish. So I'll see y'all guys when I reach the top. Guys, we've reached the top. This is the lake. No swimming. Welcome to the North Carolina State Park. Firearms are permitted in designated areas only. Destruction, damage, or removal of any plant, rock, or mineral is prohibited. It's just a list of rules, which I'm kind of glad they had. Looks like the water's kind of low, which is that's pretty cool because uh, last time I fished out here and the water was low, I caught the hell out of the bass. So let's see what we can get done, guys. Man, they've done some cleaning out here. Right now, I'm just gonna throw this little crappy jig out and em me empty my pockets of some of this stuff. Let me get set up here, guys, and I'll be back. All right, guys, right here where is where the dam is at. Right here where I'm walking at is normally under water and there is normally water it goes a little bass there's normally water that runs right through here this whole area right here where i'm walking at right now is normally underwater all the way up to the edge and then it will run over to this other side and it'll run right down the dam here. I have literally walked right across the top of this thing so many times. It ain't even funny. But I normally sit right there in the shade or on that bank in the shade and fish right out here. But of course you can see there's no water here. We're going to see what we can catch. It actually looks like they've been doing some work here. I'm starting to wonder if they didn't do this on purpose. This is a nice little shady spot right here. Seen a little one there following it. He didn't pick it up though. He was definitely following it.
All right, guys, I'll be back. I'm gonna rig up a different lure on here. All right, guys, I'm on my first one here up today. Let's see what it is. Old small bass. A little large mouth, guys. All right, let's see if we can get another one. All right, guys, I'm on my second one here. It's another little one. Another little small one. All right, guys, we'll see if we can get another one. My shit's all tangled up. All right, guys, so there's two reasons why I'm getting ready to move. One is right there where that creek is. I just watched a black bear go across that creek that way. And you hit up, up in them woods right there. I'm not going to go try to find it. I'm not going to try to get no pictures, videos, or no shit. If you want to see what a black bear looks like, look it up. I'm not fucking with it. I'm going to go this way. Second reason why, something that I think is a little bit more, you know, intimidating to me, other than my phone ringing, is if you look right there on the end of that stick, this log right here in front of me that comes all the way up right here, right on the end of that damn log right there is a hornet nest a paper wasp hornet nest and i'm not fucking with them so i'm going to actually go around this shit and go up this way and avoid them and avoid that bear and i'm going to fish this bank line up here i'm not really too concerned about the bear because they like i said they're out here they're not really aggressive if you don't go chasing them down and fucking with me shit so I'll turn this back on, guys, once I get a little closer to the back over here to this dam here and away from this hornet nest right here. And paper wasp or whatever in that bear. All right, guys, I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I know you see that right there. I know for a fact that you see that right there. That is a bear track right there at the edge of the, wood, uh, the water right there. That's what I'm trying to avoid. So let's try to get back toward the dam. My bobber under, it's not come up yet. Let's see if he hooked himself. Yep. He's not that big. Well, there you go, buddy. Let's see if we can get another one. All I'm using is a bobber, regular wigglers, and one of my homemade sinkers like I showed y'all guys. I'm just letting it just kind of float around out there until the fish take it. I had one there running with it for a second. He let it back up though.
may have got my bait off there. Let's check the bait on it. You can put some fresh bait on there anyways. Pulled my float down some, so I'm not fishing as deep as I was. I've noticed that a lot of the bass and the bluegill and stuff are a little closer to the surface than I thought they were at first. There he goes. Well, missed that one. Y'all guys had to have seen that. Hook it back up. That was definitely a bass that bit that. There's some big old bass in here, but I've not caught any big ones here lately. It's just been small ones I've been catching out of here. I used to catch some really, really, really nice ones back around the very back, but hey. A fish is a fish. I'm just enjoying the outdoors. If I catch one, I do. If I don't, I don't. Let's see if we can get that back in the same spot. Alright guys, I got one on here. It's not huge, but it's a fish. Perfect. Like it's three, I believe. A little small one. All right, buddy. Let's see if we can't get another one.
Oh, he was on there. You hook back up, guys. All right, guys, there he is. Dang, he's awful little to be pulling that hard. little fish I'll see if we can get another one Oh, we got that little bit of shade. Ain't a whole lot. That was a bite. Oh, he's on there too, and he's behind a rock. Come on, boy. Oh, he got off. Didn't get him. Probably a little one. These old bass, man, they just, they love it right here against this bank. I felt the hook there in him for a second. Yeah, I don't think he's that big. Nah, he's not that big. Got that rock. It's a catch -o. He'll grow up to be a pretty one one day.
I think it got that cloud right there. It's coming from that sunlight. Sure ain't gonna last long, but. I think that freaking GoPro didn't come on. Hold on, guys. There we go. Not that big. Another catch, huh? There we go. Mm, too bad. All right, let's bait up again. All right, guys. So, uh, well, we didn't catch a whole lot. Done pretty good. We had some fun. That's all that matters. But uh, appreciate y'all guys watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the bell. This is Ronnie. Later.